guys, I'm Lauren. Welcome to today's video, which is going to be a day in the life with me and a duke. So Westway have kindly allowed me to borrow a duke this very specific one because my mini is currently in a garage and completely unable to drive it because it's broken down. Um, quite nervous in this Duke because I've never driven an automatic before and that's what this is. Um, when I was at the dealership they allowed me to go out with a member of staff just to make sure that I was comfortable driving it and that I knew what I was doing and to be honest it looks pretty simple so I think I should be fine. So let's have a quick look around the Duke. Westway have kindly borrowed me this very nice and very fancy 71 plate Duke, uh, which is a massive upgrade for me because my Mini was a 12 plate. I think one of my favourite features about this particular Duke is the keyless entry. So if you look here, it's currently open, but if I press the button, it will lock and the mirrors go in and then I can press it again and it will unlock just like magic another feature that I like are the very sporty looking wheels love the alloys I think it's just that extra touch on the Duke that makes it look that little bit more special the boot's quite spacious too, to be honest. Let's... Lots of space on the inside. I mean, it goes quite far in. And then there's this that you can lift up. So it's quite deep as well as lengthy. So you can get plenty of shopping in there. All new Dukes come with these LED lights, which I think makes it look quite sleek. Very, very pretty. One of the best safety features about the Duke is this little light here, this triangle. So that warns you when someone is in your blind spot. So when you can't see them, it's really important, especially when you're on the motorway going fast speeds. Um, just to make sure and then when you flick your indicator on it'll beep as well if this warning signs on and that just gives you an extra warning so you don't have any little accidents so another of my favorite features is that the mirrors fold in and out so when it's locked they come in so they're just neatly tucked away hidden away so nobody can push them break them nothing we also have an 8 inch screen in the Duke, um, as you can see this is where the radio comes on. Um, if we pop it into reverse, this is where the cameras come up, obviously this side you can see all around the outside of the car and then in this one you can see just right behind the car. I do find this really useful, moving from a Mini into a Duke, um, obviously this is a big upgrade for me, this is a huge car compared to my Mini, um, and I have found that it's made um, my life quite easy, like reversing, parking up, um, it's definitely made a massive difference and I think for when I'm looking for my next car, I will try and get a car that has a camera in it because I've found that it's made my life a lot easier. Um, you can also see that it's got all these buttons down below so you can go to the camera um, map menu audio so we click into audio am fm dab radios bluetooth audio you can do aux you can also opt for android auto or apple carplay or even usb which i think is really useful Obviously you can go into map and then you can put your destination in this way or you can connect your phone and that will then also show as Google Maps if you connect to your phone. So in all modern Nissans you can actually connect your phone to the car. So 
there's Apple Play or there's Android Auto and in our case because we have Android it's Android Auto so all you have to do is come up on this screen first you just need to plug it in which is right now and then it should just come up yep so it's come up as Spotify so then all you need to do to get to the menu is click here and then there's maps Spotify, YouTube Music, phone, so you can make phone calls, you can check your calendar, check your messages, if you scroll down, there's obviously WhatsApp, Teams, like all sorts of apps that you can get and you can also customise it so you can, it does show different apps. So you can have your favourite apps at the top, but to be honest I think these are like the most important, maps, music and phone. So initially driving the Duke, um, it's quite a smooth ride to be honest, I'm quite enjoying it, um, very simple to drive, as I said previously I've never driven an automatic before, always driven a uh, manual for the previous five years since passing my test. Um, I find myself sometimes creeping over to change gear and then after a second think it and think no I don't need to do that anymore. That's what an auto does for me. And um, as well, my foot keeps sort of creeping to like go to the clutch. Obviously an automatic doesn't have a clutch. Um, but there is on the left side, like a little foot rest to put your foot on. So it is quite easy to adjust to an automatic. You just need a little bit of time just to get used to it. So the driving display is pretty simple. Just like your average car. There's your rev meter. Um, here is the speedometer on this side. And then in the middle, it shows you um, time, temperature. Here at the top, that's where it usually shows you the speed limit. Um, and then over here, it shows you how many miles until you need to fill up. Um, this shows you sort of what gear you're in, so obviously at the minute we're in P, parking. Um, this shows you your average gear and speed, which is at the minute for this drive, two and four miles per hour. And then obviously speed, big in the middle. Currently zero obviously, because we're at a standstill. Another clever little feature that the Duke actually has is that when you stopped at some lights, it'll actually show you um, how much CO2 you're saving. Obviously, we're all trying to make an effort to save the planet from global warming. But here, as we can see, it just says how much we've saved because of the start stop-start system, which I think is really clever and makes you much more conscious about what you're doing for our planet and how much you're driving. So as we come to a standstill now, as I'm braking, um, we're coming up to some red lights, you'll notice that the engine will turn off. Yep, there we go. 2.4 kg CO2 saved, it says, which is pretty good. Um, I think it's quite informative, to be honest, and I, I do quite like the idea. So the Nissan Duke does have a lot of space on the interior, in the front and the back, especially move the seats about. So in this instance the seat is quite far forward because I'm quite short. Um, but if you just put under here and push it back, there's a lot of space there. And there's still a lot of space in the back for the passenger as well, even though it's all the way back. Um, and then if we bring the seat forward, just so I can show you, this lever is to put the seat up and down. So I have it all the way up to the highest point because, as I said, I'm quite short. It has features throughout, such as this lovely golden, ready, orange ring around the gear stick which actually matches the personal plus side 
on the headrest. I think this colour quite matches it well with the, the Bowers Personal Edition because it matches the interior um, additions for this spec and it looks quite nice. So this particular Duke has a lot of uh, heating and AC features, so there's two knobs that you can use. One of them is to adjust the temperature, higher or lower, um, which is a saviour in the obviously cold months that we have here in this country. Um, and then there's another knob which you use to turn up the strength of the fans, so you can turn that up and down. And then there's two buttons as well so the two front seats are actually heated which is also a saviour again in the colder months that we often get in the UK um, which I also have never experienced before and I actually quite like them so I think when I look into to my next car which could be a Duke um, I'm gonna look for something that has heated seats so whilst driving around there's actually another um, feature that I've noticed that I'm really really liking and that is the Bose audio system that's installed with this grade. Um, the bass is really good on it, I'm really enjoying it, putting some of my favourite songs on and hearing it through the sound system and like the music just sounds incredible, like it's not just like any other sound system, it's incredible and it just improves the sound of your music coming from the car to be honest. Hi guys, so I've now had the Duke for a couple of days and I've got to say I have really enjoyed it. Um, I'm handing it back soon. Um, so I thought I'd just talk you through some of my favourite features. Um, so like, I think my number one feature would actually be the reverse camera. Um, it's made life really easy for me whilst trying to reverse this, for me, huge car. Um, another of my favourite features, I've got to say, is the heated seats. Um, possibly something that I could look into for my next car, but um, I'm not committed to that. But it's an excellent feature, especially in the colder weather. Um, and then, You'll be surprised because of how nervous I was at the beginning, but I think my next favourite feature would be that it's automatic. Um, thanks to the staff at Westway, they took me out and they sort of made sure that I was comfortable driving an automatic before I left with the car. And um, it took a little bit of getting used to, but I actually love it. So I think my next car will definitely be an automatic because it's just so nice and easy and simple to drive and I've got to be honest like compared to a manual like the drive is much smoother um so yeah thanks for coming with me on my journey with a duke I hope you've enjoyed my little video